Hi, I'm Lynn Langett. In this screencast, we're going to look at how to deal with errors that you might either find or inadvertently write in your WDL scripts. So we're going to start with a script that has an error in it. And so we're just going to put this in our copy buffer. And then we're going to look at some of the tools that are available in the execution environments that I'm using in this course. So I broadly call this WDL linting, but the tools do more than lint, which is check for syntax uh, validity of WDL. Depends on the tool or the execution environment that you're using. Of course, one of the first things to always verify is the version of Cromwell that you're working with, because uh, being open source, uh, both WDL and Cromwell are evolving. So as of this recording, I'm using Cromwell version 50, and uh, one of the things to check is to look at the language specification to make sure features that you're using are supported in the way you're writing them. Now, we can use run mode, which is what I typically do when I'm developing scripts, uh, or we can use server mode. And what I thought I would do is show you some of the tools that I use in both of the environments. So run mode, you might remember from the previous video, I'm using a GCE VM, kind of as a local machine, but in the cloud. And there is a tool called WAM tool, which again is versioned, that um, I find to be helpful. So let's start with that. So I've turned on my WDL dev machine that I pre-configured and I've SSH to it. So inside of my Cromwell directory, I have the Cromwell 50 jar and I have the WAM tool jar. And I've also created a file called xhello WDL that has the error. So let's first try to run it. So our workflow failed. We can see transition to state failed. And a tip I'll give you when you're working in this environment is to go to the top of the indented, the error here, and we can see that we cannot just generate outputs for call write greeting. No such callable exists in write greetings. So you may be able to fix this problem just based on the information that you get by running when you are creating your WDL file. But I want to show you how the WAM tool works because I find it to be useful. So we're going to run that same uh, widow file, but notice we're passing in WAM tool 50 and we're using the verb validate. Now WAM tool does other things such as visualize and uh, there's just some other things WAM tool does so you want to see the documentation, but let's just run validate and see what happens. And we can see it pulls out that error, failed to process workflow definition, uh, cannot generate outputs for call write greeting, no such callable. So let's now take a look at this file and we can edit it with nano. And can you spot the bug or the error? The workflow is trying to call a task called write greeting, but the task is defined as write greetings with an S. So let's go ahead and fix that. And then let's save it. And now let's rerun the uh, WAM tool. And let's just clear our screen so you can see it a little bit better. And you can see now this successfully validated. And let's rerun this with Cromwell. And you can see, we have to scroll up a little bit. Here's the output. And it succeeded. And there's the succeeded. So now if we were working in server mode, and the server mode I use most frequently is Terra.bio running on the Google Cloud with Pipelines API for scalability. In Terra, there's a tool called the FireCloud Broad Methods Repository. So let's look at how linting works there. So inside of Terra, let's go to our workspaces. Let's go to our Learn WDL workspace and go to Workflows and we're going to click Find a Workflow and then click Broad Methods Repository. This is going to take us to the FireCloud interface, which I expect at some point will evolve to the Terra interface, so it might look different when you're working on it. And we'll notice that we have a namespace called learn-wdl. So we're going to create a new method in that namespace. We'll call it xhello. And now we're going to paste in our uh, file and scroll down and try to upload it. And you'll see that we get error information here. It's basically similar. Cannot generate output for call write greeting. No such callable exists. So let's fix that. 
and then let's click Upload and export to our workspace. We're going to use a blank configuration because we're not yet dealing with any files or external data. We'll do that in subsequent videos. And we're going to go to Learn WDL and Export. And then we're going to go to that Edit page, which will take us back to Terra. And then we, we are not using any data, so we're going to set this just fi to File Paths. Just click Save. And then we're going to run the analysis, which is going to launch one analysis. And that will go into the queue. And we can then click View, which will take us into the Job Manager, which you can see it's now running. While it's running, we can click on this I to see Compute Details. And this can give us information about the infrastructure it's being run on on the Google Cloud. We can see now it has succeeded. Here's the output directory. And this is a Google Cloud bucket. Also, interestingly, we can see the timing diagram. So we can see the various steps. So this is the Google Pipelines worker, for example. This is the time for pulling the Docker image from the Google Cloud registry. Now, one thing that I want to point out here is that different run environments have different requirements. On a previous run of a different version of this file, it failed because in the Terra environment, uh, WIDL files are required to have uh, runtime Docker attributes. Now, as um, we saw, we didn't have a Docker attribute for an earlier version of a WIDL file. So again, you're going to have to work with your execution environment to understand what the requirements are, uh, because in this particular uh, WIDL file, we do have, I'll go back to the list here, we do have the Docker attribute defined on line 17. So, so far we've looked at uh, workflow, uh, definition, task definition. In subsequent videos, we'll look at command definition. And then, of course, the real key is working with the input and output data files because uh, that's the point, right? We're pipelining with data. But using these tools, a uh, WAM tool on a local or a single VM uh, environment, and then using the uh, validation that's built into the uh, Broad Methods repository are tools that help me to be more productive with Whittle. So happy pipelining.